Hello, I'm at the Skegness Distillery for today's Masterclass, only a few hundred yards away from the beach. This is an award-winning distillery that offers tastings, gin school experiences and tours, and you can even mix your own gins. My name is Sam Clark and I'm a digital marketer and I will be presenting today's session one of two on Twitter. So Twitter is a really great tool for connecting with the business community. So what do I mean by business community? Business community is not only the kinds of businesses like yourself and you know competitors, but also businesses that you work with. So for example, you may have friends who own other businesses who might be active on Twitter, but it also extends to the broader business community. So that can include people like councillors, for example, that are trying to lobby local government or national government for funding for the area. So for example, trying to look for grants, you might want to get involved in that conversation and try and help them with that agenda to bring more money into the area, which of course means more tourists will come, especially if it's about investing in the tourism sector. It's an informal place as well. So Twitter is quite odd in that it is mostly business related, but it's quite informal. And the reason for that is because there is a 280 character limit on what people can type. So you have 280 characters before you have to hit send. You can't do any more than that unless you do a thread. But if you're replying to people, then 280 is all you can do. And what that means is you end up with a conversation because people are responding in bite size. And that's really, really good for networking because you can have active conversations with people in the business community to make them aware of you. You can see ways to collaborate. And it also allows you, if you follow people that are competitors, to see what's going on. What are they doing? Who do they follow? Are the things that you're missing out on? Perhaps they're at an event which you're not at, but you should be at. So Twitter is really good for up-to-date news and keeping just an eye on what's going on around you, really. So again, that can be local news and that can be events in the area. So for example, Facebook is not very good for staying up to date with local events, but Twitter can be really good because local media often shares things on, on their Twitter feed rather than Facebook. And it's quite up to date and it's very quick. And it's again, very conversational in its nature. It is somewhere where you either have to get actively engaged or used for research purposes. So again, what I mean by research is following your competitors, having a look what they're doing. That's one way to use it. But the other way to use it is to get actively involved in conversations around business within your community. So there are 16 million users in the UK on Twitter, which is a very small amount compared to Facebook. But again, that's because of the nature of what the platform is. It's not somewhere to share nice images. It's not somewhere to share photos and videos of you know, friends and family. That's not really what it's used for. What it's used for is people that are professionals or business owners or counselors and things like that. People who have a message or want to have a conversation about a topic. And it's very, very frequently used by the media as well. A lot of breaking news is actually announced on Twitter before it's announced anywhere else. And that can be great, again, for you know, keeping an eye on events. There may be an announcement about a new event that's coming to your area and you want to get involved with that event. So again, it's great for keeping your ear to the ground and it's brilliant for networking. So you can begin to network with other businesses that you think you can work together with, for example. And again, it's 280 characters, making it very, very conversational. And it's informal, yet it is focused on business to business communication. So there are lots of different things that you can do with Twitter. So you can follow accounts, which is a bit like Facebook, where you'd add a friend, but you don't have to ask for the permission. You can just follow that account. You can create lists. Lists are really helpful because what lists allow you to do are create specific lists. So for example, Lincolnshire journalists. This would be a list then of people that you found on Twitter that are journalists within Lincolnshire. That's really helpful if you've got a story that you want to send out to journalists. There's also things like hashtags, which are really helpful. So for example, hashtag Lincolnshire Day. Events and key calendar dates are really good to jump onto. If there is something your business can say about a calendar event, such as Lincolnshire Day, then do it. If you can take a picture of you know, your business with the Lincolnshire flag and you're proud to say that you're a yellow belly, then do it. Get involved. So Twitter is all about making conversation. It's all about getting actively involved in that conversation. 
And you want to look for opportunities as well. It isn't just about random conversation and chit chat. It is about looking for opportunities for your business. Are there businesses that you can collaborate with? Are there businesses that you can work, work together with? You know, again, going back to things like events, if there is a big local event on, who is at that event? What businesses are there already? Is there a way for you to get involved? So that is the end of session one of two on Twitter. I hope you found that helpful and I'm looking forward to you joining me for session two.